Sometimes it's good to be wrong, because in words of Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park... You're dead. You're crazy son of a bitch, you're dead. A few weeks ago I made a video when I said that the fact that someone rooted the DJI goggles doesn't mean that the good things for the users will follow immediately. And yeah, here's where I was wrong. Thanks to the work of Brian Ledbetter, we right now have a proof of concept that yes, you can have full-blown OSD on your DJI goggles. Just take a look at a few of the samples that Brian made publicly available. You see? DJI goggles, OSD, CMS, everything seems to be in place. And that is the amazing news, because it's just a proof that it's possible to have the full-blown OSD on your DJI goggles, but someone decided not to do it. Yes, DJI, I blame you on that. However, before you will root your goggles and install the software made by Brian, there are a few things that you have to be aware of. Because, although it seems to be working, no, you probably not really want to do it, because this thing is not ready for public adoption yet. First of all, you have to root your goggles, and this is only possible if you have the correct version of the firmware in the goggles and you not upgraded the goggles in the last few weeks to the version 015. If you did it, sorry, it's not for you. Then you have to make the software yourself. You cannot download the binary from anywhere. You have to make the software on your local PC while having the full toolchain installed. And here comes the worst part, because at the moment when I'm recording this video, it's not persistent. You have to manually start the new software on the goggles by connecting this to your laptop and giving the proper commands. When you power down and then power up, the OSD is unfortunately gone. It's not really the graphical OSD yet, it's just a character OSD. OSD display on the DJI goggles. But still, even that is much, 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 MUCH better than what DJI offers by default. And that, most probably, is the best news of the whole April 2022. I have a huge hope this project will succeed and we will get the third party OSD running on the DJI goggles because maybe, maybe this thing will finally motivate DJI to release their canvas mode. Great work Brian, I really root that you will succeed and we're gonna have a nice thing finally. The links to the relevant github repositories are in the description. And please drop some comments on what you think about this. I'm hyped, how about you? If you would like to know more about the mess with the DJI firmware, here's the video for you. I'm Paweł Spychalski, thank you very much for watching and like always, happy flying!